let's put some embroidery on this snowman. All right, so the first thing to do is to decide which side you like best of your snowman. Um, I have a little bit of uh, a not so nice spot here where I had the beginning of round, so I'm just gonna put that towards the back. I, uh, so I'm fine with that. I'm gonna need a length of yarn. Um, you want it to be no longer than twice the depth of your arm. So usually I go like one and a half from sort of fingertip to shoulder. And uh, that way when it's doubled over, it's still something you can comfortably pull with one stroke on the needle. Thread it on your yarn needle and don't worry about a knot or anything like that. We're gonna deal with the knots together at the end of every strand. So I've got my yarn mostly doubled over, but with some left single. I'm gonna make sure to go down through the center of the, where we closed the gnome or snowman in this case. We're gonna go through that and we're gonna come up and I'm going to come up roughly where I think I want the top of my big snowflake motif to be. So we're going to do a large snowflake motif and then two little asterisk style ones and then some scattered stitches. When doing placement, we wanna be thinking about doing the, uh, staying away from this thinnest part and away from the decrease line. So I'm gonna say, do sort of like the bottom two thirds um, of, of the body, sort of a band about this big. Um, so I've, I've left uh, the end here so that we can, we can deal with that later. Now I'm gonna go and we're gonna figure out, do we want the snowflake on an angle? Do we want it angling that way? I'm gonna angle this way, sort of into my center so that it's angling sort of towards the armpit or <laughs> down this way, just to sort of, I think that this kind of a line looks better design wise, if this is gonna be the center of, of my uh, face and my other things. Now I'm gonna put my yarn down and in and then I'm gonna come up about halfway up between these two spots. So where I came out, where I went back in, I'm gonna come up about halfway up that and about half the size away. So if this is the full length, this is half. If I come out here, that's about half. I could go maybe a little bit more to the side here. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna make a big plus sign. So if I now do this, does that look about right? Yep, I think the, the angle is good there. So I'm gonna go down. Now on top of our big plus sign, we're gonna make a slightly smaller X. So I'm gonna come up between these two points about halfway down. So not coming up at the full extent, but about halfway so that the X that goes on top is gonna be about half the size. It's a bit of an art and not a science because you know we're designing as we go. Uh, embroidery just like knitting is not always about exactness. So when I go down I'm just always going to come up where I want that next stitch to be. Let's say that I decide I don't want my stitch to be where I came up. What I need to do to sort of move my point is to always go in exactly where I came up. So here you can see I've got this little bit of a ply that I split. I need to go down exactly where I came up and then I can just move myself over. So let's say I want to move over. Um, let's say I'm just going to go a little bit closer. Just a moment here. If I'm not going down exactly where I came up, I'm actually going to create a stitch on top of the fabric. It needs to be identical. So let's see if I've done it. I've done it, I will just simply move where it comes out. There we go. See, we used to come out here. Now we're coming out here, it's all good. So yeah, just always go down exactly where you came out if you want to fix things. All right, so having done sort of our plus sign and our little X, now we're gonna put our little Vs on the end of each one of these points. So I'm gonna go down here and come up at the end of the very first place I, I came out, all right. And now I want to create just two little angled stitches at the top of each one. And to do that, I'm just going to go, this is where I came up. I want to go to the side a little bit and come up roughly the same amount on the other side and go down and that will make a V. Then I'm going to come up at the next point in my little snowflake motif. 
See how that just adds a little bit of a, a flourish there at the end. And I'm just going to do that all the way around at every point of the plus sign and the X. Let's say you didn't like the angle of a stitch or where you placed it. It's really easy to erase a stitch or undo it. Just take your thread off your needle and using the non-pointy end, just go under the last stitch and just tug on it and you can then pull through and undo it. So if you need to go back a few, um, one of the ways to do it is like to figure out oh, where was the last one I did is if you just tug on the end, the one you did last will tighten and show you where it is. Don't tug too tight or the stitches will be sort of thin and they'll try to dis they'll, they'll be laying, they will be laying plump and sort of generously on the surface. The last thing we're going to do with our uh, snowflake here is come up right, right at the junction of the plus sign and the X. Come up as close as you can and then go across diagonally, exactly across, again very close and we're just going to tack down all those big stitches. Then we need to figure out where we're coming up next. So I'm going to come up about here because I'm going to put one of those asterisk style snowflakes over here. So come up, oh, let's say about there. Always making sure that your tail is not so short that you get a double stitch kind of stuck there. All right. So if you wanted your snowflake to look a little differently, making the X the same size as the plus makes it look a little more um, square. Uh, I'm going to leave it this way uh, this time because this is my third time shooting this tutorial. <laughs> so in this one, I have a smaller X and a longer plus. All right. Uh, the next step is to do a little asterisk and, and those are just basically the plus with the, at the X on top of it, but smaller. I think I'm going to go down. So I'm going to go exactly in where I came up and then I'm going to go over kind of more like, like there maybe. All right. So let's see if I do, it's always important to figure out what angle you want to do. Like, do I want to go kind of leaning into that snowflake? Um, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this the sort of the sideways part of my, my plus sign so that I'm not going too close into that motif. So I'm going to go and I'm going to make the horizontal bar. The trick with the asterisk style ones is not to make your first bit too small. If you do, you're just going to end up with like kind of like a tiny little black hole rather than a set of little spiky stitches that are going to look like a snowflake. Um, so don't, don't start too small. And again, just go down where you need to go down, come up where your next point is going to be. Don't pull too tight. If you ever do, just loosen it up again and then come across. All right, let's talk about how to um, do the, some of those scattered stitches. So all they really are is you coming up and then going down again where you want to. So I'm going to put one here. The trick is to not make them too large and to also not make them all the same direction. So you don't want them to have the same angle. So there's one. So I wouldn't do another one facing that same angle. The next one I would do would kind of come across and we'll do like that. And now let's talk about dealing with the ends. I'm going to come out exactly where I went in, in that center hole that we uh, created when we finished the gnome there. So there's my, my little scattered stitches. Let's see that they look good before I <laughs> tie this knot and finish that off. Okay, that's good. The reason I'm dealing with these ends is because I'm out of yarn. Um, we're going to need a second strand to do all this stitching today because the stitches are so big and so lovely. So I'm just going to tie a knot, just a simple overhand knot, double time, or double time, twice. And then I am going to put both, if possible, I like to do both on my needle at the same time. Um, if it's not possible, you can always uh, go one at a time, but it's just so satisfying to do it in one fell swoop. All right, let's uh, see if I can convince this end to thread for me. There we go. All right. Uh, it's always easier when threading to bring the needle to the yarn rather than trying to stick the yarn through the needle. Okay, so now I'm going to go back down through this opening again for like the third time and I'm just going to come up somewhere and then I'm going to pull on the needle. 
until the knot pops inside. The knot is inside. I'm going to pull on this to get both ends out. Where are we here? Which one of you is the end that still needs to come? There we go, right there. All right, so now that we're through, just have a little look. Yep, we're good. I'm gonna pull quite tight and then I'm just going to snip it and it'll pop inside into the stuffing. One of the things that pulling tight to pull the knot through can do is it can make the last stitch we did a little too tight. So just go back and just kind of um, tease those up and make them just nice and plump like the others. Second verse, same as the first. So we're gonna go in through that opening that we created there. I'm gonna figure out where I want my second asterisk style uh, snowflake to be. And I think I'm gonna go about here. Uh, so I'm gonna come up maybe a little higher, right there. Once I'm there, I can always decide, is this the leftmost part or is it the rightmost part? Is it the top part or is it the bottom part? So let's just do a little thinking here. If this is my snowman and it is, would I rather have that asterisk kind of on a diagonal line with this one or do I want to keep them both kind of lower? And I think I'm going to do it, both of them lower and then we'll do a couple scattered stitches on this side. So I'm going to make that the top of my asterisk. And now we're just going to do the plus sign and then we're going to do the X. Now I'm going to do some scattered stitches. So I'm going to come up here. I'm remembering not to go too close to this uh, neck area. So this is about the highest I'd want to go. And let's put, let's put one angling this way. It is always a good idea to do um, things in odd numbers. So I'm probably going to do three here. I've got two here, but with this asterisk, it forms like a little trio. Um, our eye really enjoys having um, odd numbers of things when we're, when we're dealing with with stuff. Uh, so that's just a, an easy little tip to get that. Yep, I like that. It's pretty cute. Oh, it's a little too tight. So let's pull that up so we're not changing the surface of our, our snowman here. Hope this helps. Don't be intimidated. Do what you want to do. Pull it out if you need to. Redo it and always be willing to uh, be a beginner at something new. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.